Yo, what up you guys? It's me, Dirk Digital 2050 Welcome back to a new video here on the channel, and I'm here to give you an update on the current situation that I have going on. If you've been a part of the channel for more than two months, you know what's going on, but to those of you who are new and don't know what's happening, I actually ended up injuring my ankle pretty badly around seven weeks ago, almost two months ago now. Let me go on ahead and give you guys a lore real quick of how that happened. I was on my skateboard coming home from work because I live like literally around the corner from my job. I decided to stop at the Mexican restaurant to get steak tacos for me and my mom. I ended up getting my order safely and I was on my way home. Well, on my way home, I was looking across the street to make sure that I was okay to hop in the street on my skateboard. To those of you who didn't know I skateboarded, I don't talk about it much, but then again, it never really pops up in conversation, but yeah, it's a hobby of mine. Anyways, that's beside the point. Before crossing the street, I did the standard thing of looking both ways. Now sadly, since I was looking left and right to make sure I wasn't going to get hit by oncoming traffic, I didn't look down. Unknowing to me, there was a hole 11 inches deep right beneath me. I took a couple steps forward because I was ready to get into the road and my ankle plunged straight into the hole. I heard what sounded like a snapping sound and a couple of pops and after that I knew that it was all bad for me. It happened very quickly, and by the time that I had realized that my ankle went into the hole, I heard and tried to regain my balance, which didn't really help out the situation. At that point, I was contemplating on going back to my job and having a seat and calling a ride so I can go home safely, but since I live so close to home, I thought it'd be perfectly fine to foot it because it's less than a block away from my house. In doing so, that only led my muscles in my ankle to tear even worse than it already had. Once I told my mom what happened, we hurried and rushed to the hospital, where I used a wheelchair and had to wait four and a half hours to be seen. But honestly, that's pretty good considering that people have been there for longer and were just sitting there even once I had gotten out. After I got out of the hospital, I had to do a lot of running around between the foot and ankle specialist. I had to do CT scans, x-rays, and all other things to see if I had any abnormalities, if I had any compound fractures what was broken and what was okay. That's the lore behind what happened with my ankle. And as of today, December 22nd, around 11.30 in the morning of me making this video, I just got back from the appointment with the foot and ankle specialist and I had great news. The doctor said that my ankle is almost fully healed. I can bear my weight, I can balance, and thankfully I can also hold extra weight, which is great. So the doctor said that I actually healed up a month and a half faster than expected. We we're expecting this to be around four months at the earliest and seven months for it to heal all the way. But thankfully, I got it healed in just a little under two months, which was miraculous, honestly. I might not sound it, but I'm in a very good mood because I'm finally able to get back to doing the physical activities that I do every day because Believe it or not, I'm surprisingly a pretty physically active person. I just wanted to get on here though and update you guys on what's going on and also give out a quick thank you to everybody that supported me through this and gave me tips on how to numb the pain and what exercises to do to give back some of my, you know, flexibility in that area. So big shout out to you guys. It really means a lot to me. And once again, thank you all for the love and support I've been getting on the channel this year. It's been really great. And again, we will have another video today. It'll be Sensei teaches you how to be toxic too. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that, man. But with that being said, my name is Dark Ages 2050 and I hope you guys have a great rest of the day or night and I'll catch you guys all in a new video later. Peace, y'all.